Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to fix up your iTunes library. When you purchase a movie from the Apple iTunes store, you usually get nice cover art, you have a description of the plot, and you have cast and crew and all that information. It has a beautiful background art and everything. Now, if you're like me and you have a hard drive full of movies that you ripped from DVDs, you download from torrent sites or direct downloads, uh, your library looks like crap. Uh, when you download these, they come in different formats. Uh, you get the description of the movie, the title is all messed up. And when you import these sort of movies into a library, like for instance, if you took these movies that don't have the right information and you chuck them into iTunes uh, they won't even show up in the movie you have to go into home video and then they look like this they have no information they look like crap today we're gonna use a certain app uh, it's called MetaZ and MetaZ is gonna allow you to fix all the metadata inside your personal collection Let's go to the website and I'll show you. It's a free app. Uh, you just pretty much download it to your Mac. And then if you need it to convert, because, you know, Apple TV and QuickTime, they only support certain formats, pretty much MP4s and M4Vs. So if they're AVIs and you need to convert them, I recommend using Handbrake. You throw the AVI into the program and then the program spits out MP4 or M4V. So let me show you how to use this app. Uh, and the good news is that when you have uh, converted these personal files of yours in your media folder that you're going to point iTunes to or Plex, it works with Plex. So it's not going to mess your Plex up. It's not going to mess up your iTunes. It's actually just going to help you get everything to work perfectly. So for simplicity, I, what I did was I created a folder with eight uh, movies in it. You can see that I fixed these ones here. And these are the ones that are not working. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're fresh right off the, uh, off the download of torrent sites. So let me fix this up a little bit. Hold on. Let's just get rid of these here. And we'll go into here and we'll fix that so that we start fresh and I could show you how things work. So we have no movies in our iTunes right now. So here is the app itself. This app is MetaZ. And when you look at it, it's pretty much a simple program. You can hit the plus sign or you can actually drag and drop folders, uh, movies right into it. Now this, say that this one here is my hard drive and I got all my movies on it. Now when you go here, and you put it, plotted it in there, what it's going to do, it's going to search the web and it's going to find uh, things that are close to this name that you have written in here. So we'll go into here. It's the wrong movie, but this one is correct. And then you notice that this is the cover art. It's got all the information and it did it all for you automatically. So basically all you have to do is say that this one is correct. You double tap it. And it's going to put check marks into wherever... Uh, information that you want. Say you disagree with this one, you just pop it off or whatever. So here it is. It's ready to go. The good news is that you can do multiple files. So pretty much you just drag all of your files right in and you make sure that you select, you agree to everything here and you double tap. So now we have this one ready to go and we have this one ready to go. Now our original files are here human race, and rounders. Now, when I hit go, you're going to see in a couple of minutes each file, you're going to see that it's going to completely fix it all up for you. Okay? So we're going to hit write all. And what's going to happen now, we'll open up our queue. You're going to see that the file here is being changed. It's already being changed. There's two of them that exist. But what's going to happen is it's going to get rid of the old one and it's going to fix the new one. So now look here. 
I have human race and it's perfect in its form. You see it here, it's perfect. And now when we drag these into iTunes, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Now let me show you some of the settings that you might uh, interact with here. If you go to preferences, I have it set where there's an alert that pops up. Uh, you can use growl notifications. Uh, you can quit the app right after it's all done. And uh, there's a section here where you can put the original files in the trash uh, or they could just be rewritten. Uh, and it will search these websites here for information. So basically, there's not much in the settings that you have to deal with. So basically, now when we take our two movies and we put them into our iTunes library, you're going to see now that it's perfect. And that looks really nice when you're going through your iTunes library. You get to read everything. So that's just a quick video to show you how to fix up your iTunes library. Now, I want to mention that if you do have a uh, movie that has this big, long description when you downloaded it, you have to fix it up a little bit. And let me show you how to fix it up now. So let me just quit the app. We'll start it over again so we start fresh. And now we have this wrongly written title right in here. And it doesn't look good. Uh, it's not happy. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just tap on it. And we're going to erase everything before the MP4 and leave it just like this. So we're also going to do that here. Or you could do this ahead of time. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's do it ahead of time so that when we do drag it in, it looks really nice. So we're going to tap that. We're going to fix it up to what it's supposed to look like. Okay, right before the, keep the MP4. And then put it in parentheses, the date. So we put the parentheses in date, and now we fixed it up. So now that when we drag it in, it's going to look for it, and it's going to know what's going on. See, now we have some information here. So we can go through, that's not the one, that's not the one. We know that this is the new one from 2014. Here it is. So we can pretty much go through and you see that it has all the information that we need. And now we could just double click to put our check marks here. We'll put our little check mark there and we're ready to go. So now I'm going to hit right and it's going to write it now. And it's going to fix it up. Look, see? Now it fixed it. And you have Robocop. It disappears, the, the bad one. And now we're good to go. So let's go to Plex 2. And I'll show you. I've done some ahead of time. And I refreshed my Plex. And now my Plex looks really good. Uh, it didn't change anything because Plex has its own uh, cover, you know, metadata finder. And then, like I said, if you drag them into iTunes, you're going to see now that it's going to look absolutely perfect. It's going to have our description and everything. And uh, this is a, a cam rip. Uh, but, you know, you play the movie, and the movie looks absolutely great. You have it all set up the way you're supposed to set it up. And I hope this helps you out. So the app is called MetaZ. We can also use Handbrake, and I'll put the two links in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.